Manchester City players dominated the FIFPRO World Men's Team that was unveiled by FIFA at an awards ceremony in London on Monday evening. The team was made up of the best men's players from last season and over 28,000 professional footballers cast their votes on who should be included. Six Man City superstars predictably dominated the team after their treble winning heroics last season, while there was no room for any Man United players. Lionel Messi was the only player outside of Europe to be included in the team that forms a 3-3-4 formation boasting the best men's players. Meanwhile, Pep Guardiola was named as the best FIFA men's coach after guiding some of the included Man City stars to unbelievable success last season. The Real Madrid goalkeeper competed with Man City's Ederson and Aston Villa's Emiliano Martinez for the spot between the sticks. Goalkeeper, Thibaut Courtois. Courtois has spent the entirety of the season so far injured after undergoing surgery on an anterior cruciate ligament injury and has been a big miss for Real Madrid. The Belgian struggled during a dismal World Cup campaign for the nation but contrastingly impressed at club level with Madrid before his injury. Defense, Ruben Diaz, Man City, John Stones, Man City, Kyle Walker, Man City. It's not surprised to see City's treble winning defense pack out FIFA's best men's team as Diaz and Walker both feature. In fairness, there would be few complaints if City dominated every defensive position in this team after their success last season. Diaz started 11 of City's 13 Champions League matches on their way to the title and was a stalwart at centre-back for Pep Guardiola's team alongside John Stones who was on FIFA's shortlist. Meanwhile, Walker takes the right-back spot after his stunning attacking and defensive exploits at City last season ensured he continued to cement his status as one of the world's best defenders. Stones was the other inclusion in the three-man defence after the Englishman thrived under Guardiola's guidance last season to operate as both a defender and midfielder in the team. Midfield, Bernardo Silva, Man City, Kevin De Bruyne, Man City, Jude Bellingham, Real Madrid. City's team selection dominance continued in midfield with both Bernardo Silva and Kevin De Bruyne given a place alongside Real Madrid's Jude Bellingham. De Bruyne was largely responsible for providing the assists for Holland's incredible goal tally last season and was also a huge threat in scoring goals of his own as City dominated in England and across Europe. Silva was the other City star to feature in the FIFPRO midfield after he scored seven goals and registered eight assists for City last season. Bellingham was the only non-City representative in either midfield or defence as the Englishman broke up a Premier League-dominated side. The England midfielder has been lauded for his outstanding efforts since swapping Borussia Dortmund for Real Madrid in the summer. Attack. Erling Haaland, Man City, Kylian Mbappe, PSG, Lionel Messi, Inter Miami, Vinicius JNR, Real Madrid. The voting criteria for this award states that the team will be formed around a 4-3-3 formation, however, an exception appears to have been made in this year's best men's FIF Pro team. Holland is the most obvious pick after his stunning 52-goal haul last season guided City to the Premier League, Champions League and FA Cup titles as the Norwegian enjoyed a stellar start to life in England. Mbappe and Messi round out the other shortlisted picks for the best FIFA men's award to be included in the World Eleven, after their respective successes with both Argentina and France. However, Real Madrid's Vinicius JNR was the surprise fourth pick as he was included just a day after scoring a hat-trick against Barcelona in the Spanish Super Cup final. Please, subscribe to our lovely and active channel now for your daily football updates.